We know teachers play an important role in our children's lives. And for those who have visual impairments, their teachers help them become more independent. Elena Cugino explains how one educator in Kent County earned a special honor while doing this work. Many teachers spend their day in just one school, but April Makeley spends her day in several, including Collins Elementary School. I think that that's an excellent choice. April Makeley has been a teacher consultant for 22 years, working with kids who are visually impaired. When I was a young child, I read all about Lewis Braille and Helen Keller, which led me to a career in teaching. One of the kids she teaches is Javier Sanchez, who is heading into the third grade at Collins Elementary School in Forest Hills. Ready, set, go. He is working on reading speed, writing speed. He is working on technology um, to utilize those things as well as an abacus, which is something that he will utilize to compute in the classroom when other kiddos use paper and pencil. April has had many students like Javier in the past. One of them decided to nominate her for an award. I was stunned and amazed. And she won. April is this year's Braille Institute International Teacher of the Year. She went up against educators across the U.S., Canada, and the United Kingdom. I think this award is for all of the teachers who do what we do because we work hard. Your number is 505. Yes, those fives got you, huh? She says she doesn't do her job for the praise. She does it for the kids she teaches. It's a very low incidence population, but these kiddos are out here and they're just as capable as any other kiddo out there. And along with her co-teacher, Miss Jen, they help open the world of learning up to kids like Javier. Braille is access. Our goal is to smash any barriers that the kiddos will have to being able to participate in their general education classroom. April will be heading to California to receive her award on June 24th. Her former student who nominated her will also be in attendance. In Grand Rapids, Elena Cousineau, News 8.